Be the change you wish to see in the world. Gandhi. A butterfly lights beside us like a sunbeam. And for a brief moment, its glory and beauty belong to our world. But then it flies on again. And though we wish it could have stayed, we feel so lucky to have seen it. Good morning. My name is Jacqueline LaPlante, and I'm a fifth form day student from Longmeadow, Massachusetts. I'm here today to talk to you about my experience with childhood cancer and to share with you a few lessons that I have learned along the way. This is my story, but I am almost certain that every person sitting in front of me in this chapel has been affected by cancer in some way, shape, or form. When I was three years old, my older sister, Brielle, was diagnosed with leukemia, a type of blood cancer. My sister had always been a fun-loving, kind-hearted girl with the most bubbly personality. Then, suddenly, at the age of six, that energy was taken from her. My family knew the diagnosis was very serious, but we didn't realize just how much our lives were about to change. Brielle was in and out of hospitals for the next few years while battling the disease. A New York City hospital quickly became our new home, and countless surgeries and chemotherapy treatments became the new norm. Yet, despite all the treatments Brielle endured, she always had a smile on her face and made the best of the horrible situation. This leads me to my first message that I hope all of you might take away from my story. Meet adversity in your life with a smile. I'm convinced that because my sister always smiled, she actually felt better, allowing her to have positive experiences that she never would have had if she had felt sorry for herself. Our new reality was hospital stays, medications, endless medical tests, and doing our best to make life as comfortable and as normal for Brielle as possible. Brielle courageously fought leukemia for two years, undergoing major procedures such as a bone marrow transplant, transplant, brain surgery, and numerous chemotherapy treatments. After all those procedures, Brielle seemed to recover well, and her leukemia actually went into remission. Our family was finally able to do things that some people may take for granted, such as going to the beach in Cape Cod, taking day trips to New York City, or even just swimming in our pool on a hot summer's day. That brings me to message number two. Take advantage of all of life's little moments. They're more special than you may think. I look back now on all of the little experiences I had with my sister, like building sandcastles on the beach, playing basketball in our driveway, or watching the sunset. All those things were fun, but didn't seem particularly special to me at the time. Now, however, I cherish those memories. Yes, all of the things that my family got to do while Brielle was cancer-free, were more special than any of us realized at the time. Because two years later, Brielle was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, an aggressive form of bone cancer. She was just 12 years old. That news devastated my family. Once again, my older sister would have to face countless more surgeries and chemotherapy to battle her cancer. Yet, through it all, Brielle remained incredibly strong, with that characteristic smile on her face and a strong determination to conquer anything. I honestly don't know how she remained so brave and so positive. But just eight months after Brielle's 13th birthday, after years of putting up a brave battle, I lost not only my sister, but my best friend to cancer. I was in denial and angry. Angry that doctors couldn't do more to save my sister's life. Angry that I didn't have more time with Brielle. Angry knowing that there are thousands of families out there going through the same thing. I was so angry that I finally decided to do something about it. My final message for you today is to try to make a difference in the lives of others by giving back. I realized that without all the funds so many people have worked hard to raise, I could have lost my sister at an even younger age. So I was determined to give back in hopes of helping families fight their own personal battles with cancer. In the summer of 2017, I signed up for the Pan Ash Challenge, also known as the PMC. The PMC is a 200-mile bike ride across Massachusetts, beginning in Surbridge and finishing in Provincetown on Cape Cod. 
Thousands of riders from all over the world participate in the PMC, all riding for the same cause, to find a cure for cancer. Following Brielle's initial diagnosis, when I was just five years old, my dad and uncles formed a PMC cycling team in honor of my sister. They named the team Brielle's Brigade. Every year, my whole family would follow the progress of the riders throughout the challenging 200-mile ride, cheering them on at every stop along the route. I remember standing on the side of the street holding posters that Brielle and I had made, which read, Pedal to the Metal and Riding for a Cure, cheering for all the passing cyclists. I always knew that someday, when I got old enough, I wanted to be part of this incredible event. At the age of 15, I was finally old enough to, to participate in the PMC, and it was the team's 10th year riding. The team was on track to exceed their fundraising goal of a million dollars, and I was determined to do my part to ensure that the team accomplished that goal. Almost every day that summer, leading up to the August 6th PMC date, Team Brielle's Brigade went on 30, 40, and 50 mile training rides. Of course, there were some days when I truly thought I would never be able to complete the ride. However, it was during those times that I remembered the pain my sister and all other children who have battled cancer endured. I knew that my muscle aches were nothing compared to the challenges thousands of cancer patients face in trying to conquer the disease. I'm not going to lie, the ride was tough. Riding through the pouring rain on day one and extreme heat on day two was certainly not ideal, but I couldn't complain. I had a picture of Brielle with me, and our team wore purple butterfly jerseys because butterflies were one of Brielle's favorite things. Family and friends, along with thousands of strangers, lined the route, cheering us on every mile of the way. Riding into Provincetown at the end of day two was an experience I will never forget. I was exhausted, but so moved by all the people every one of them affected by cancer in some way, lining the streets leading up to the finish line. Participating in the PMC was one of the most incredible and memorable moments of my life. The feeling of accomplishment in reaching our million dollar fundraising goal was amazing. I knew I had made a difference. I would encourage each and every one of you to challenge yourself, to do something that you never thought you would. Reach outside of your comfort zone and give back. You never know when you might be counting on someone reaching out to you in your time of need. Be bold and make a difference. I know that will keep my sister Brielle smiling. Thank you.